Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. We would like to say the water, a thank you to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for the Rekakwadash. The Rekakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind this lesson. I want to give a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akium, Wazakwanium, all around the world, preaching and teaching his word and truth and his sincerity. Shalom to the whole for a uh, Coming back with another lesson. Just want to uh, harp on, you know, this uh, war that's going on in the, uh, you know, in the Middle East. Okay. The war over there in the land, uh, the landmass of Israel. All right. Uh, and Gaza and Hamas, you know. The, over there with the area of the Gaza Strip. All that area is, you know, going through uh, a war. And that area is going through that war because the rightful people, okay, the holy people are not in the holy land. All right, that's why you can have wars all around that area because when the holy people are in the holy land, there's not going to be any more wars like this. All right, so uh, let's just uh, read this a little bit. It's, uh, it says, UN world leaders push to get Gaza aid, follow, flow, aid flowing after Biden pledge. So as you know, you know, brothers and sisters in the know, know it was a, ho a hospital attack over there, uh, I think Tuesday that was. All right. And this is going to keep uh, escalating and keep escalating. All right. It says, uh, Gaza Strip, the United Nations and world leaders were pushing Thursday to get immediate aid flowing into the Gaza Strip as the humanitarian crisis worsened for two million so like it, for two million Palestines who are trying to flee deadly so like it, who are trying to flee deadly Israeli airstrikes and struggling to find food, water, and fuel during a near total siege. Alright, all this is going down, man. All this war over there in that uh part uh, of that land is going on because why the holy people aren't in the holy land and this is Yahweh by Shemel Shai, uh you know mixing that stirring part stirring pot to get this world war three uh flowing because these uh countries allies are going to get involved you see us kind of getting involved all right and um these other nations allies are going to get involved all right so um, let's look and see kind of where this thing is at. It's a little map right here. Now look, look how close, you know, Israel, okay, and Gaza are. All right, the cap. Uh, you got Beersheba right there, Gaza City right there. Look how close. All right, you got Jerusalem right there. Look how close all of this is. All right. So why is this fighting and this uh, wars going on in this area? And this is basically this is Israel. OK, so why is this fighting going on in Israel? Because the holy people aren't in the holy land. You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are the Israelites. All right. And the, that are uh, predestined to be in that land. But through the curses, we got uh, scattered abroad. But the Heavenly Father is going to put all right, his people back in that land. There will be war no more. But until that happens, it's going to be war in this land. All right. So uh, let's grab these precepts. It's Jeremiah 30 and 2. Thus speaketh Yahweh, power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. And what book was these words um, written in? The Bible. All right. It says, For lo, the day is come, said Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people. Excuse me. Israel and Judah, as the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, said Yahweh, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. All right, so this is what's going to be happening in the, in the end in the end days. All right, 
the Israelites are going to return to the land that the Heavenly Father gave their fathers and possess that land. And these people wasn't placed in this land by the Heavenly Father. These people took over this land, all right, to try to portray to be uh, the holy people when they are not. It says that I gave to their fathers and they shall possess it. So let's see what uh, when the Heavenly Father gave that land to the fathers. Uh, this is Genesis 28 and 13. And behold, Yahweh stood above it and said, I am Yahweh, power of Abraham thy father, and the power of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. In this land that um, that um, Jacob, all right, aka Israel, was in at the time, is the land of Israel. All right, so that's the land that is made for the Israelites. That's the land that the Israelites will possess, the land that was given to Jacob by the Heavenly Father. All right, the land of Canaan. Uh, let's see. This is Jeremiah 23 and 3. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. All right. The Heavenly Father is going to bring Israel to their lands, going to going to gather the remnant, going to gather the elect. All right. Out of all the countries whither he driven them and bring them again to their folds. All right, bring them again to their landmass, their their dwelling place, and which is in Israel. This is Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. See, that's why you got these people mourning. That's why it's fighting, bombings of hospitals. A lot of men, uh, women, and children are dying over there. Because why the righteous is not ruling when the Israelites. Or right, right, in that land, the world is going to be at harmony. The world is going to be at peace. This is Ezekiel 37 and 21. And saying to them, thus said Yahweh power, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. All right, and what's that land that the Heavenly Father is going to bring the Israelites to? All right, the land of Israel. All right, that land that they want so bad, the land that they're fighting over, that land where that war is going on at. You know, so I know people, it's a lot of speculation to why. Why is this fighting going on? Why has this fight been going on for so long? Why? All right, because the uh, holy people are not in the holy land. And this is all judgment from Yahweh by Shem Yahushai from uh, what these other nations did to the Israelites. So the Heavenly Father all right, is going to shake up the whole earth. It's going to cause havoc on the whole, whole earth for his um, for his people. All right? For the uh, recompense of Israel from the Israelites being in slavery. So the whole world has to uh, uh, feel the pain. All right? Has to feel the death and destruction. All right? From what all these nations did to the Israelites. Is there some more on this? Going to that. Uh, grab this. Ezekiel 28 and 25. Thus said Yahweh power when I shall have gathered the house of Israel for the people <clears throat> among whom they are scattered. And who was scattered? Man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered all over the world. That's why the Heavenly Father is saying he's going to have to gather the elect of the nation of Israel together. All right, and bring them to their holy land via the chariots, so-called UFOs. It says, and shall sanctify in them in the sight of the heathen. They shall dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. All right, so they're going to dwell in the land that the heavenly father, all right, given to Jacob. And what's that land? The land of Israel. And when the Israelites are in that land, all right, the rightful owners, the rightful inheritors, all right, the rightful heirs of that land are in that land. There will not be any more wars. 
There will not be uh, uh, none of this, man. All right? We can go all through here. It's, uh, everybody's talking about all the news is about uh, this war. Okay? And this is Gaza right here. And, but the Israelis are attacking them. And like I uh, pointed out, where is uh, Gaza at? It's uh, right there. This is all the land, the land mass of Israel. Okay? So when the Israelites, the true holy people are in the holy land, there will not be any more fighting. Isaiah 2 and 4, And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spear, spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. All right. So when the holy people are in the holy land, there will not be any war anymore. But until that is going to be constant war, constant fighting, constant death, constant destruction in that landmass. All right. So that's why. It's going down over there. It's all Bible prophecy. All right. And it's because the holy people are not in the holy land. So I'm going to close it out with that saying, Call Halal Yahweh by Shimei Shalom.